Beatrick Roach, always good. Ollie Phillips again on the right side of the referee ahead of knockout matches. Just need him as that eighth person on the field to be on your side. These sides so evenly matched. Bags of talent across the field. This is going to be a scintillating semi-final for everyone right now. Dietrich Roach gets us underway in the Cup semi-finals in Sevilla. South Africa already through to the gold medal match. Who will join them? And already off to the races is Gonzalez for Argentina. Hutchison on the chase. But Luciano Gonzalez has absolutely screamed down this near touch line. What a score, his third of the tournament. The perfect start, we talked about the aggression. It's poor defensive work from Nathan Lawson from Australia. And Luciano Gonzalez, that is a fantastic score. Henry Hutchinson is not slow, and he absolutely wheels him around the outside. Felipe Del Mestre with the extra two nails it the maximum for Argentina Luciano Gonzalez Rezzoni full name he has been magnificent this weekend for Argentina defensively he's an absolute workhorse and what a score that was in the cup semi Revol the veteran gets us back underway falling into the hands of Corey Toole his dowling out of the St. Joseph's College School in Sydney. Ramwick Club as well. Here is Corey Till. Roach. Not afraid to move the ball wide in their own red zone, but that's a good chop tackle on Kurijrani. Del Mestre thinks twice about going in for the jackal. Here's Tool. So much pace. And Hutchison, the captain. Did that go forward? Yes, it did. To Dowling. And I guess you play with a bit of fire when you push it like that in your own 22. It's those two tiny mistakes coming from Australia that are going to cost them bad. First that tackle from Lawson, and then it's the full pass from Hutchison. They were away on the outside, and that man looking on. Head coach, John Manatai. It's going to be disappointed with the Australian start so far. Yeah, John Manetti was a prop when he played rugby. Sevens coach these days. Here come Argentina looking for their second score. Hot on attack once again. There's that man, Gonzalez, just swatting away Australians at will here. Look at him go. Coming the near side, Iskuro. He's put to the floor by Lawson. Raval. Gonzalez again. Corey Tool shoots out of the line. Australia looking to pick up the scraps here. It's into the hands of the captain, Hutchison. Really good defence there from Australia. They can reload and go again. Long pass to Roach. We'll go back for the original decision. It was a penalty. Three minutes in, finally Australia turned up. Raise the intensity now. That's what you need if you're going to beat this Argentine outfit. Couple of quick offloads. It's into the hands of Corey Toole. And only one thing happens when this guy gets in space. Toole has another try for Australia. The Brumbies Academy player has taken this Sevens World Series by storm. And he has a try in the Sevilla Cup semi-final. There you go. Well, Argentina have Marcos Moneta as their superstar speedster. And Australia have this man, Corey Tall. He is lightning quick when he gets the ball in his hand. Brilliant finisher. Such a potent weapon for Australia. Their leading try scorer on the series, Corey Tool. 15 ahead of this tournament. Make it 20. Roach from right in front. Leading percentage goal kicker on the series himself. We are level. It's seven each, under three minutes to go in the first half. Top of the line breaks also. Rube, interesting statistics so far. Australia missed five tackles already. 38% tackle completion rate. If you're going to beat Argentina, you have got to sort that out and sort it out quick. Alvarez does well at the restart with some help from De La Vega. There's that man, Gonzalez. Two Australians, Lawson and Turner, to put him on the floor. Revol, that looks a little forward, yeah. 
Just got on the wrong side of him, Jochen De La Vega, didn't it? Didn't he? And Gaston Revol, who's playing in his 84th tournament, more than any other Argentina sevens player in history, just shoveled that one in the wrong direction. Well, Nathan Lawson will be delighted about that there. He's getting crouch. found out on this near side touch every time he's up against Gonzalez. He is getting bumped. He's a big unit. Nathan Lawson out of the Southern Districts Club in Sydney. Here's Roach. Out the back to Dowling. Angled run. He's got Tool with him again. Corey Tool with some more space. Moneta's on him. World Rugby Sevens Player of the Year. That's a fair fight. And Moneta has done his job there. Roach. Hutchison, bounce pass. He did well to hold that. Here is Lawson. Lawson inside to Henry Hutchison. What a pass that is. And what a captain's knock from Henry to put Australia in front in the semi final. Well, wow, Rupert, this comes from the width that Australia are playing with. Look how far apart they are hogging every single blade of grass and what it means is there's space up the middle because the Argentinians have to come with them. Hutchison makes them pay but it comes from a clear strategy from Australia that they are going to stretch this Argentinian outfit. Henry Hutchison, 24 years of age, the leader of this Australian sevens team. Roach, no problem. <laughs> The Aussie Sevens get a double maximum. They lead at 14-7, approaching the final 30 seconds of this Cup semi. Look at that. He's approaching 100 tries, Henry Hutchison. And out there on the field with the ball in his hands is the birthday boy, Morris Longbottom. Sends it high over to the far side. Tools under it. Dowling's there as well. Went forward off Argentina. So just a couple of breaks. Not going their way. Good news for Australia, but Argentina need the ball here. How quickly the momentum can shift. You see there, Australia yeah, please, won yeah, their please. past three cups. Semi-finals against Argentina. And it looked like it was going to go the other way in the first three or four minutes of this game, but they have wrestled back control. Set. Australia been a strong second-half team as well, comprehensively outscoring several of their opponents. What a ball that is! to Corey Tool, Morris Longbottom. That is one of the best passes you will ever see on a rugby field. High risk comes high reward, Rupert. That is a sensational pass from Longbottom. So close to the fingertips of an interception. But the pass just enables Corey Tool to drift away straight into space. We've already seen if he gets a sniff, it's TRY time. What a comeback from Australia. Two tries to Corey Tool. Longbottom makes an impact. 21-7 to Australia at halftime in the Cup semi. Okay, we've already seen South Africa get through to yet another Cup final. Let's hear from one of their stars, Justin Heddle now. Just in six cup final in a row. Where are the emotions right now? Yeah, I think I'm mean, just very happy with the, with the effort and the poses that the guys have shown today. I think uh, the past day uh, we haven't played up to our standard and I think today we came out and we played very, very well. The effort was very good. I think we were happy because we came out with a plan and we, we implemented that plan. So very, very happy about it. You seem to have just unbelievable self-belief in everything you do and each other. Where does that come from? I think it comes from, from within. I think the guys believe in each other. I, I know what the guy next to me is capable of. The guy next to me knows what I'm capable of. So we, we trust each other that we're gonna uh, we're gonna do something about. Uh, we're gonna do well. And uh, yeah, I know what he's gonna do. So for me, it's just to, to go out. I know if you're gonna take up the ball, I need to be there for the clean. The next guy knows his job. So each guy knows his job, and that makes it a lot easier for everyone. Go on in the final. Thank you so much. Yeah, I think confidence comes from winning 33 games in a row. That's where confidence comes from for South Africa. Unbelievable winning streak they're on. They're on. Australia want to continue their winning streak in Cup semi-finals against Argentina. They're 21-7 up at halftime. And they are looking good here for another gold medal appearance. La Katuha Stadium 
in Sevilla being treated to some elite level rugby sevens right here. It's cup semi-final number two and Australia have the jump on Argentina. Three converted first half tries. Henry Patterson's off the bench. They lead Argentina 21 points to seven. We're back underway. Revol sends it high. Corey Toole who scored two tries in that opening half brings it down but here's Marcos Moneta almost through the world player of the year it was an ankle tap from Nathan Lawson that put the Puma superstar down look at that just for a last ditch tap tackle there Lawson gets his fingernails onto Moneta's heels and with it disrupts his rhythm Disrupts his stride, and as he hits the ground, he knocks it forward. Huge That's sigh of set. relief for any Australian watching. That is how dangerous Moneta can be. Longbottom, who came up with a quite brilliant assist for this man, Corey Toole, at the end of that first half. There is Lawson. Across from Patterson, that's a loose ball, danger signs for Australia, this Turner has it, could work out for Argentina. Moneta has it in, in his hands, and here's De La Vega. He got two tries in the final last week. Iskro now. Five metres out. Argentina. Moneta switches play. Long pass over the top, but it's gone forward again to Jochen de la Vega. That would have been a walk in for Argentina. How many lives does Nathan Lawson have? I tell you, unbelievable. What was that pass? Either way, a yep. much past drift forward from Argentina. Well spotted from Adam Leal. But Australia are living life dangerously at the moment. They're not out of jail yet. Set. Defensive scrum right on their five. Powerful scrum from Argentina. We've seen a couple of tight heads already. Stop yeah, Turner one, one. decides to kick. They've had enough of playing down in their own red zone and revolt. He's getting back the 35-year-old for Argentina. He's got Moneta coming back to help him out. Here is Marcos Moneta. Was in Australia last year with the Puma 15-a-side team. Didn't play a game, but he's a key part of any form of Argentina rugby. Here's the man who threw it forward, Del Mestre. Stands in the tackle. There's the offload eventually. Still alive. Loose ball again. De La Vega and Revol. De La Vega has it. Dowling's onto him. As is Lawson tackle, trying to hold tackle. him up. They finally find salvation on the floor. Players exhausted here down the stretch on finals day. The third day. The sixth day in two weeks of Rugby Sevens. Takes an enormous toll on all these players. Two maximum scores down. Argentina. There's Gonzalez. With the width that these two teams are playing with, Argentina just trying to push the ball to make it so hard for the Australian defence that could crack now. De La Vega, half break from him. There's the offload to Moneta. Marcos Moneta, what a tackle that is from Josh Turner. The defence from these Aussie sevens, quite remarkable right now. Still fighting though, Iskro now for Argentina. All these players emptying the tank here in Sevilla. Hardly anything left to give. Alvarez, the captain, he missed last week because of COVID protocol. Pulled so up. did this guy, Revol. Here's Del Mestre going in the wrong direction. Moneta now. De La Vega. Iskro. Time ticking down, approaching the final three minutes of this cup semi final. And there's a knock-on on the floor. Time off. What a defensive set that was from Australia. That is huge, Rupert. Absolutely huge. That ball must have been in play two, three minutes. Argentina going wide to wide to wide. Australia hanging on for dear life. Sensational stuff. Players out on their feet. And they're ringing the changes. John Manetti's bringing on the reinforcements. Look at Morris Longbottom trying to... Paul Del Mestre over the sideline. Well, that's what you're trying to instill in your players, isn't it, Ollie? You've been here, done that. Josh Turner on Moneta, that personifies it right there. That's the last ditch tackle. Moneta, they don't make that tackle. He goes, he scores. Two minutes and 20 seconds that ball was in play live for 
That is such a long time on a sevens field. Huge credit to Australia for coming through on that one. Type of stuff that deserves you a place in the gold medal okay. match. Still plenty of time though. Here's Longbottom. Morris Longbottom already an assist in this cup semi-final. And this time the giver is the receiver. Happy birthday, Morris Longbottom. That may well be the try that puts you in the cup final. Well, it took its toll on Australia, but more so on Argentina. Psychologically, two minutes 20, attacking and not scoring. And long bottom then, that is the nail in the coffin. A 21-point margin. If they slot this kick with only two minutes on the clock, Australia very much in control now. Roach with the extra two. Yeah, what a weekend it's been for this young man. Hasn't been starting every game. John Manette has been using him brilliantly. Impacts off the bench. He hasn't let him down. I just love the intensity this, this Australian side have played with all weekend. They have been like a pack of wild dogs. And they've not let up for one minute in this game. Reinforcements out there too. Jose Thaki for Australia. Tool. Two tries for him in this semi-final. There's Longbottom making tackles now, as is Corey Tool, the captain, who's led them with a plum. Henry Hutchison. 28-7. Not quite the 14-0 scoreline in the corresponding match from the Dubai Sevens before Christmas, but looks like Australia have definitely got Argentina's number in knockout matches at the moment. Minute to go. Clock's going to beat Argentina. They'll be playing for bronze against Ireland. But they will keep playing here. Fraga into the action in the five shirt. Little sidestep there from Vera Feld to Herman Schultz. Patterson wraps him up. A little chip through the bump and run. They do like to do this Argentina Sabato, but look at that the work rate once again corey tool check, guys, I don't know the back for australia you yes, are just going to have a look upstairs at this one what's your question Ed? i'm pretty i'm pretty happy it's grounded by yeah i'm not sure australia what i'm not sure is whether he carries it over the line before he grounds Adam it Leal just checking whether or not he carries the ball over or not i think this is okay i'll have a look a drop out i think the ball's already there but this just shows you the work rate and effort and commitment and my decision. that this Australian outfit yeah. are putting into Restart, this. This is how much it means to, to hit this cup quarter final there with the 21 point cushion. You could have just left it. They are desperate. The psychological impact of holding Argentina out here will be huge for Australia. Well, Argentina's 13 year wait for a gold medal on the series after their last one in San Diego 2009 will continue. Australia picks up their last gold in Sydney 2018 when the men and women won it. There's a yellow card coming wait, here wait, down wait, the stretch. Wait, wait, wait. The Gaston Revol from the sideline. He would have dearly loved another opportunity to win a gold medal. He's I've just given so much, football. hasn't he, to this Argentina cause over the years, but it's oh, it's been a bridge too far for them, Oli. Despite that, emphatic start from them Australia just had their number and outsmarted them in this game Argentina will finish with a try Franco Sabato who got the winner in the quarter-final will get a try in the semi but it's pure consolation for Los Pumas sevens they have been outdone here by an Australian side who have shown some of their best best stuff no. In the cup it's semi final. Quite, quite to tell you, it was clear for me when the Hooter went, then you said it. So there, there will be no restart. Could be a third bronze medal for Argentina. They won two of those in Dubai before Christmas this series. Conversion doesn't make it. Handshakes all round. Australia have prevailed. They are into the gold medal match. They will play South Africa. They have been.